Well, continuing our coverage of the Congressional District 8 special election, we're introducing you to the candidates running for Gabrielle Gifford's former seat. Jennifer Waddell sat down with each of the three candidates and asked them questions you told us were most important. Here's what we learned about Democrat Ron Barber in this morning's project, Red, White, and Blue. Democrat Ron Barber is a longtime Tucsonan. He came here as a teenager in 1959 when his father was transferred to Davis Monthan. For more than 30 years, he worked for the Arizona Division of Developmental Delays. He joined Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford's team in 2006. Just a year later, he became her district director, where his priority was advocating for families not receiving Social Security, Medicare, or Veterans Administration benefits, even though they had earned them. He Congresswoman sighed January 8th and was wounded when Jared Loeffner opened fire at the Congress on Your Corner event. Barber says the two most critical issues for Arizonans are the economy and the future of Social Security and Medicare. First of all, the middle class is being squeezed. Stagnant wages, unemployment, underemployment, foreclosures. We have to do something to help revive and rebuild the middle class because without a thriving middle class, we cannot have a thriving America. So that's one. Secondly, people are very concerned, particularly seniors and soon to be seniors, about Medicare and Social Security, the solvency of those programs. And I've made a commitment, a strong and firm promise that I will not privatize Social Security, that I will find uh, solutions to dealing with the solvency issue for both programs. His plan to boost the economy focuses on building bioscience, technology, and solar industries, and strengthening our relationship with Mexico. And then there's a new area of development that we really have, have just begun to think about, and that is that the port in Wymus is really expanding. And because of its expansion, it's going to become a major port, import-export uh, dock for products from all over the world. Where is the nearest uh, community to that in the United States? Tucson, Arizona. Well, what you need to do is to really work with uh, uh, the, the country, uh, Mexico, and other countries to be able to increase the uh, import-export uh, capability. Barber says his experience in the community sets him apart from the other candidates. I know this district better than I think either of my opponents could because they have not been here that long. And secondly, uh, my ability and proven track record as a problem solver, as someone who tries to bring people together to find common ground and solve problems. We, people are sick and tired of the divide, sick and tired of the bickering. They just want people to go to Congress, represent them, and solve problems. And that's one of the, uh, my life's experiences and track records that I think I can bring to the office. Jennifer Waddell, Kate, on your side. You can watch Barbara's entire interview.